Hey y'all. So I have told you in previous videos. Oh wait, hey. Hi, my name is Shelly, the sassy homesteader. So I have told you in previous videos um, to seize what God gives you, um, to embrace it, um, seek out information and learn about the things that are growing around you. Um, waste not, want not, right? So I am at my sister's house and she is basically mini homesteader so she doesn't have like animals or um you know like dairy goats <laughs> anyway but what she does have is an abundance of berries and things um that she grows and she's propagated time and time again um it's really bright out here sorry but what i want to show you is we came over here and started on her blueberries now i bet you we picked probably mm, i'm gonna guess two gallon ziploc bags of berries and let me show you so we picked over it pretty good, but these are the blueberries. So those are going to be ready in the next couple of days. And it is what a blessing, right? What a blessing. Um, these bushes are a few years old. Um, well, they're, I say a few years, it, time flies, but um, they are probably... 15 plus years old so they're pretty big for what they are this is the strawberry patch that we tried to clean up and well it overtook again so this was one solid strawberry patch and we try to make aisles in it um you can see right here we tried but the garden of weeden she's also propagated um these are the grapes that i propagated from her right here so we cut that way 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 back um i was like oh my gosh i think we just killed this and i thought for sure her husband was going to kill us but no <laughs> he's like oh it looks good and look at that i mean if you can see it there are oodles and oodles of grapes starting um she uses these for wine these are wine table grapes you name it she makes a lot of juice so hopefully we'll have a lot of juice this year um like i said we took a whole bunch of clippings and i just grabbed them all but what i really wanted to talk to you today about was let me see going over here and look she's urban like this is this is urban urban um i still say she has plenty of space for a couple of chickens and some goats but anyway this is where we have been picking okay looks pretty bare right this thing was loaded we have two of these oh i believe they're probably pint containers full of these little dandies that <laughs> we haven't gotten back here yet but they are black currants this was loaded now these little dandies are so good for you now, if you just take one right off the vine, you're gonna go, ooh, that's bitter. Ooh, my goodness. But, oh, <laughs> here's some kiwis. <laughs> She's got kiwis growing. Remember, we're in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, a lot of things grow here that you really wouldn't think grow here. Oh, and there's my sister, Catherine. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, We've been picking probably, oh, half an hour or so. So, I mean, 
make short order of it. But we wanted to explain to you some of the benefits of these little dandies. And if you can find somebody that you can propagate off of and take some of their trimmings, all you need to do, oh, excuse me, I have a special needs nephew and you might hear him in the background. It's okay. And uh, yeah, he's needy like me. He gets out from, he gets this from his Nana. Anyway, but um, all you do, need to do to propagate this is literally take a clipping and maybe put some root, or root boost on it or dip it in raw honey, not the honey from the store, like some honey that you get from like your farmer's market or your friend, somebody that has bees, um, a natural honey that hasn't been processed way down. You don't want that. Um, but look, she gave me a list. She gave me a list to tell you all. So um, it originated in Europe, Asia kind of thing, but the health benefits for it are amazing. It's got antibacterial properties, vitamin C um, to fight your colds and flu. So to have this on your homestead is going to help alleviate that need to go to the market to buy cold and flu things. This is going to help you battle it as well. So I support for those of us that are having eye issues and have to start reading glasses, um, inflammation in your body, you're getting older and I promise you, oh my goodness, when you homestead some days you are beat, you, your muscles are just dead to the world. <laughs> but this will help inflammation for your joints and um, your muscle, um, reviving all of those. Um, it can also help with insomnia. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Um, let's see. What else? I gotta read my I gotta read my cheat sheet notes. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, and it is full of magnesium, calcium, and copper for healthy teeth and bones. Ladies and gentlemen, as we get older, that stuff starts to break down. It is not a joke. I thought people were joking and now I'm getting older and I'm like, holy macaroni and cheese, y'all weren't joking. So God put this out for us. It's here. Um, it's, it's fairly rare. Um, now I want to show you one other thing. Um, there is a difference between the black currants and the red currants. Now I don't know everything about this. So as I've told you once, I've told you a million times now. I gotta grab some here. She makes a fantastic red currant jelly. Holy moly. Anyway, these little dandies, these are much meatier than their cousin, whatever it might be, but see the difference in it? Hang on, let me see if I can. These are much smaller, much smaller. I mean, yes, you can make cocktails out of these. You um, juice them. They do have little seeds in them. Um, even the red ones have like little tiny seeds. Oh, there we go. You see that? Boop, boop. There, right? But they, same with their... Oh, I'm waiting for it to splash on me because that'll be something like, oh, see the little seeds? So you want to juice them. But look how much meatier that one is compared to the red currant. See all that? So you want to juice this and have all of those seeds out. Um, I haven't done it yet. Um... I'm hoping that mine take off, but mine are still very, very small. I, I think on my red current, I got 
maybe 20 berries so but I just did it last year and I have them in a spot that is not so great um, I didn't do my research and do you know how easy YouTube is to get all this information I mean you don't want to just take my word for it you want to investigate and do your due diligence look at how other homesteaders do it how um, they propagate or what they propagate so find a subject that you want to learn about and go from there um, now this isn't all of the health benefits to this one little berry this is like <laughs> what do we say the next miracle food <laughs> um, it's probably in that category with your elderberries and and all of those immune boosters and antioxidants and all of the things all of the things that are good for you so if you get a chance to take a clipping off of a black currant bush even even red currant um, snag it snag it while you can this is easy it's really good for you I keep repeating that but it's really good for you and we were just talking that probably be good in cocktails too not that I would know but I used to know anyway but while I was on the subject for elderberries elderberries you can do the same thing off of this bush we whacked like oh I don't know 15 um, stems off of it I mean this fall it looked bare but you can see how well it has flourished right elderberries is another thing that is just amazing for you but we'll go over that later the birds have really gotten to her her stuff but as you can see that bush was loaded we were not expecting how much picking we were gonna have to do but it makes it well worth it and again God put it out there for us each and every one of us so investigate do your due diligence learn how it can best help you um, and try it in your jams your jelly your drinks as a juice as a tonic or not a tonic that's not the word I'm looking for a tincture thank you a tincture and uh, add it to your little repertoire I think it'll be great for you I know it helps us it helps my sister we all have our little ailments so just put it in the back of your mind and when you see that you go oh yeah that gal the sassy one she said I need to snag that and get it in the ground even if you just put it in a pot and save it for a rainy day get it in some dirt use your root boost or raw honey and uh, go for it I promise you it'll be worth it it's so delicious mmm mmm anyway I digress because you know I'm thinking about food again so um, like comment subscribe and dingy -dee dong mm, I'm getting good people watch out watch out anyway Propagate, share with your friends, help your fellow homesteaders, help them. We have to work together in all these crazy times. Just be there for each other, okay? I'm here if you have any questions. I will answer them the best of my knowledge. If not, I'll find you out the answers as always, okay? May love, peace, and blessings fill your whole day.
fill your world and share that love, share those blessings with others.